My name is Katie Connor. I'm an artist. I work with visual media and also living materials. In the residency, I've been exploring hydroponics as a system for growing plants and food using a liquid nutrient media rather than soil. So I came to hydroponics as a way to think about ecological issues because I spent quite a lot of time in lockdown 2020 at my allotment sort of thinking about how to grow crops and how much the soil cultivation is dependent on weather cycles and, and how much water you actually need to grow crops in arable land. It also seemed important that with the kind of political and economic changes brought about by Brexit and the fact that we import a lot of our fresh food from Europe, it, it seemed incredibly important that people had access to being able to grow their own fresh food. I think a lot of people feel not that they're apathetic, but that perhaps that there's nothing that they can do about, you know, such a big kind of crisis as the climate crisis. Whereas this, I feel it's like bringing things to a much more kind of relative scale that we can have some kind of action and have some sort of direct influence on our own lives, especially to do with like where we source our food and things like that. So this is the largest system that I've set up in the studio. It's called an ebb and flow system and there's 120 litres of water in this which is held in the chamber at the bottom. I've got it set on a timer here so every half an hour the pump will pump the water from the bottom chamber into the top where the clay pebbles and the plants are. The daylight lamp is also set to a timer but this is a sunrise sunset timer so this allows the plant to have a kind of restful period overnight. I also wanted to think about the studio in its proximity to the tidal river outside the studio which has the second highest tidal range globally and I wanted to kind of think about the systems in here that are water-based systems. I wanted to think about them in relation to older systems so you've got the the gravitational pull of the moon on the tides and that's a obviously a very kind of archetypal system. A lot of other cultures attribute a lot of kind of spiritual deities to water. I was interested in like thinking about older sort of more folkloric aspects of, of water and kind of enchantment and I really wanted to kind of bring those into thinking about hydroponics as a more ancient system or something that we could maybe reintroduce us a different way of thinking about the climate crisis. We've got some uh, recycled water bottles and also some yoghurt pots where I filled the containers with the nutrient media so the roots can go down. So we've got some lettuce, we've got um, some pepper plants and also some salad that is just about to germinate there. I really like to take what's what I've started to develop in the studio and really kind of build it out. So invite other people from different interdisciplinary specialisms to come in and to kind of give advice on the different plants, the different ways in which to grow them hydroponically. I'd like to invite other artists into the space and to think about how they might respond to the work, whether it's recording through sound or whether it's in the ways that they interact with nature. I'd really like to set up educational programmes for the community to think about these as kind of viable systems, like you would have in a community farm set up. Yeah, I'd really like to kind of open out a research centre that would really kind of take hydroponics to the next level and, and for it to become a kind of a very viable and integrated aspect of the way that we cultivate food.